Hi everyone. What are the dangers behind fundraising? Are there any dangers? Yep. There are dangers behind fundraising. Let's explain. Fundraising is an incredible thing to be able to do, to do a sponsored run, a sponsored swim, a sponsored learn, a sponsored cycling. It's an incredible thing to be able to do and we should all get involved in it. And you now have these things, you have the these campaigns, these matching campaigns where for only 24 hours or 48 hours, if you were to give money, then that money gets doubled. And, it, and it's brilliant. It means the charity, so much money is going direct to the charities as opposed to having to be spent on a dinner or other ways. It's a great way to get money in for the charities. And when it comes to Purim, it's such a fun way. I remember when I was younger, being able to go around to houses and start doing a spiel to sing, do a dance and to be able to get literally thousands in just one night it is a brilliant and incredible thing to be able to do so why am i being so negative what are the dangers so i think we have to be aware of the dangers here it can be an incredible thing it is an incredible thing but there is also a danger behind it and we got to be cautious about that danger when we are fundraising there is the internals and the externals. There is what's going through my mind, why am I doing something, and then there's the externals, there is the actions. When I'm fundraising, what's my intention? Why am I fundraising? Clearly, I'm fundraising because I, I want to give. I want to help out this charity. I'm passionate about this charity. I, I want to help people. And therefore, I will give up my personal time in order to be able to fundraise and to be able to help out these incredible courses. So as far as my internals, as far as my intent is concerned, I am giving. However, what are my actions? What am I doing when I'm taking money from people for the charity? My actual actions are taking. Question, do you think in life you are more affected by what your intention is or what your actual action is? And the answer is you are more affected by your actions. Robbie Sarsalanta explains, we've also explained in the previous talk, that your actions have a far bigger effect on you than your intention. So even though your intention is to be able to help and to be become a giver, the actual actions you are doing is taking from other people. And therefore, I, I, I just want to be able to help, yes, but if you're doing is here, money, 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 give us all your money in the spiel, then what you're doing is you are ultimately taking it will have a negative effect on who you are. For example, these guys. Experiment for homeless children. Sorry, no. Don't care about children in poverty then. Not at the moment. I've got bigger problems. I do bigger problems exist in the desperate poverty of a child. <clears throat> Taxi! Taxi! Yo, my man, I bet you got spare pounds and two pounds and two pences and five pences in there for the Princess Trust. Why not? Hey, can I have a couple of seconds of your time to help save the old people? <laughs> uh, no, sorry. <laughs> cool. Hi, guys. Sorry to interrupt you. I'm Would... sorry, darling. I'm about to film something. Do you mind oh. just giving me some would you not? Would you not just give me two seconds of your time? Sorry, it's... I'm really sorry. I'm on a deadline. Oh, you mind it's for the Princess Trust. Sorry, we can't. You know... Hey, can I have just a couple of seconds of your time? No, sorry. Literally like a couple of seconds. Uh... Did you know that every day, 5,000 old people have to... It'd just be two seconds, just a little bit of a donation. Sorry. sorry. You know who set this up? Prince Charles back in 1976. Trust, and I, and I We've met 100,000 entrepreneurs, including probably some of you guys. 100,000 success stories. Cost us 20 million a year. You wouldn't be interested in any any donation at all. It's gonna look bad on camera if you don't donate. Just one donation, a penny. Any 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 donation will do. Penny, pound, fiver. I do contactless. And I'm here today raising money and awareness for a local charity that gives support to old people. Oh, that sounds great. What kind of support? It's five pounds a month direct debit. Oh, you just dropped five quid there, young man. Ah, now that I've got your attention, you know the Princess Trust? I'm not sure. Literally, you can cancel at any time. And did you know that every day, old people die? But with your help, you could save them. Oh, go on then. Cool, sure. If you could just write your full name and address onto the clipboard. Okay. 
And just to check, that is your full name and address. <laughs> yes. You promise me! Okay, okay, I promise. Now, what, what happened with these people? Do you think they, they set out saying, how can I be mean and nasty? No, that wasn't their intention. Their intention was to be able to give. And yet, by doing the actions continuously of taking money, taking money, it has a negative effect on your personality. It actually has even... There's more negativity as well. Let me explain. When someone is chasing after someone, please, come on, give us your money. Come on, let me put you down for a fiver. Oh, come on, just a little bit of money. It's <laughs> like they don't want to be able to give. So when the person finally, when you catch that person and you coerce that person, I'm not saying physically punch, but you say, oh, come on, oh, come on, you must have something. And you finally annoy them enough take the money from me just leave me alone is that person who you're chippering that person who you annoy into giving you the money are they really doing the mitzvah are they in fact becoming a giver or are they just paying for you to get off their back it seems to be that not only do you become a taker but even their giving doesn't really get the merits of being a mitzvah because their giving is just a means to take you know to take you off from annoying them will you take us mount splash more no. 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 will you take us mount splash more if i take you will you two shut up and quit bugging me yeah of course well now, is Homer in that situation, is Homer a giver? Would you say that when Homer is taken to Mount Splashmore, that this is an act of his kindness? No, this is not an act of giving. This is an act of get off my back. Go. So now we've got two problems here. One is that you become a taker, not a giver. Number two is when they're actually giving you money. <clears throat> That's not coming from a positive place. It's coming from a place of get off my back. But there's even more. There's another danger as well. If someone is giving money when they don't want to give money, then there's a concept called iron horror, an evil eye. And it means that this money, which they feel like you're ripping them off, that you're taking this money off them, has negativity on that money. Says Rav Dessler, no positivity can ever come of money which is given when people are feeling like you're ripping them off that money. Sheesh! So let's just put it all together about all the negativities and fundraising. Woo! When it comes to fundraising, number one, it turns you into a taker. Lovely. Number two is they're not properly giving. They don't really get the merit of doing the mitzvah of giving because all they're doing is get off my back and number three is that even the money that they do finally give there's an iron horror on this money there is an evil eye there is negativity on this money which Rav Dessa says no positivity can come out of that money so what's the solution over here I mean <laughs> here I am I'm trying to help I'm trying to do a mitzvah I'm trying to do you know Let's just do nothing. I'm never going to fundraise ever again. I'm never going to do any sponsored anything. I'm not going to spiel on Purim because clearly I heard this talk or by Zeman Gabe or by Zeman made it very clear that by doing it, it's negative. No, don't do that. There is a way. There is a way of making it positive. There's a way of doing this. How? Let's go. So we're saying that my intention is to becoming a giver, but the issue is, is that my action is, is an action of taking the only way that we can fundraise in a way which is going to be positive is that if I change my action of taking to an action of giving. But how? How is it possible? <laughs> I'm not going to give other people money. How am I possible? How is it possible to be able to fundraise but not do an action of taking but somehow doing an action of giving when surely I'm trying to get money in? Here is a solution. Here's how you do it. It's not that you're taking people's money. The focus has to be is not how can I get money out of this person's pocket? How can I take from this person? 
Because if you do that, even though you're taking it for the sake of a good cause, you will become a taker. You will be affected by your actions. But rather, you have to be focused on how can I give someone else an opportunity to do a mitzvah. Now, it can't just be lip service. You can't just say it. You really have to get yourself in the mode, into the mindset of, here I am helping someone. I have the opportunity here. This person has money. They have tools from God which they can do tremendous things with it. They can either buy an ice cream, they can buy themselves something which doesn't last, or they can buy something which is eternal. I have an opportunity to give them a mitzvah. Would you like to be able to support such, a, such and such? It is such an incredible thing to be able to do. I would love for you to be able to have this mitzvah. Do you want to take part in it? And if they say no, they say no. And if they say yes, great. You've done an act of giving. You've not done an act of taking. You've done an act of giving, giving them an opportunity to be able to do a mitzvah. It just comes down to our mindset. Do I view when I'm fundraising as an opportunity to be able to give? Or do I view it as an opportunity to take money from the other person? It's vital we have this mindset of that I'm here to be able to give, not just to the charity, but the people who I'm giving mitzvahs to. In the times of the Gemara, the, the people who are asking for money, they would say, most beautiful, they say, Zahabi. They would say, please, you should be merited. You should have merits through me. Let me give you a mitzvah. This was the way they used to speak in those days. Zahabi. How incredible it will be. Please, I am here. I am your mitzvah person. An example of this with my father-in-law. People come to collect. They're called Meshulachim. They are agents collecting for charities. My father-in-law always calls them Mazakim. They are people who are here to strengthen us. And when you really think about it, this is incredible. When someone comes to my door collecting money, I, ha I have a mitzvah to be able to give sadaka, I have to give sadaka. When I'm searching for a lulav and esrog, I don't have a door-to-door -door service. No one comes to my door saying, here, I've got a lulav and esrog, all you gotta do is pay. I have to go out and spend hours searching for a lulav and an esrog. Yet here, they come to my door, they're knocking on my door, and I just have to give, what a service. This is a door-to-door -door service. I just have to open the door and I get the mitzvah. We have to realize they're doing us such a favor. And therefore, when it comes to fundraising as well, it needs to be that you have Mr. Philanthropist, you have the person who has money, and you're starting to collect, okay? Please, would you like to be involved in this mitzvah? That's incredible. I'd love to. Now, when you're doing that, not only do you become a giver, but the person is also wanting to give. They've got an iron toy on it. The opposite to an iron horror. They put positivity on this, saying, I want you to be able to receive this money and more than that they don't want to do it other times because it's been such a positive experience to be able to give so here's the positive way of giving money to sadaka if you do it when you focus on how can i give them a mitzvah then first of all it turns you into a giver not just i'm collecting money for sadaka but no every single time i'm collecting money i'm giving out i'm dishing out mitzvahs the second thing is that now they become a giver because they want to be able to give. And thirdly, the money has an iron toive. They want you to be successful. They want these coins, this cash, this check. They want it to be successful. They want your charity to be successful. And lastly, it also brings shalom into the world. It brings peace into the world because what it does is connects three people together. It connects you together with the person who is donating the funds. It connects you with the person whom you're helping, the person you're helping with the philanthropist. All three people are connected. And in a beautiful way, the shalom. To conclude, be great, be a giver, and collect money in a giving way.